Okay, so it's time for the top five safety concerns when purchasing a home in Rockland, California. Let's get started. Okay, so the number one safety concern in moving to Rockland, California is structural integrity. Now, structural integrity issues are not common in Rockland because the majority of the foundations are on a concrete slab. So also the soil overall in Rockland is very solid, hence the name Rockland. Now, there are some areas in East Rockland that have raised foundations and should really be inspected before purchase. However, there are some issues to be aware of. You must be cautious of real estate investors who flip houses for profit. So many do an amazing job, but some may make cosmetic changes throughout the interior to conceal problematic structural issues like cracks in the exterior walls, bricks, or maybe the foundation. Uh, so for example, when you have cracks in the ceiling, they might be harmless because it's just settling if they're small, but they could also indicate structural damage. So if you see cracks on the interior in the same place as the exterior, then you could be looking at structural failure that could be a safety concern. Pro tip, when inspecting a home you're intending to purchase with a raised foundation, make sure to hire a home inspection company that has experience in raised foundations. Make sure they examine the crawl space and provide pictures to you so you can assess the foundation yourself. Number two, safety concern when purchasing a home in Rockland, electrical hazards. Electrical hazards can be costly and even deadly. They can also be easy to fix. So when buying a house, avoid these hazards by having a home inspection performed. Depending on the age of the house, an inspection might reveal poor wiring, corrosion around the wiring insulation, or maybe even fire hazards. Some older homes lack proper ground wiring, which is a project where costs can be pretty minimal. And some older homes in Rockland that were built in the 1970s have what's called a Zinsco electrical panel. Now, although most would recommend these panels to be completely replaced, uh, there are many that are still in operating condition today. These panels have been known to have a potential of ca uh, causing a fire hazard, uh, but it doesn't mean that you have one, your house is gonna catch on fire. I think some people make it bigger than what it is, but make sure that you know the cost that it would take to actually replace that panel uh, should you want to in the future. Number three, rodent or insect infestation. Rodents and insects are more of a nuisance. They can cause health issues and spread disease. Most home inspectors will check in attics and basements for signs of infestation, such as chewed wires and plumbing, but homes that are located near green belts and open spaces are more likely to have rodent activity. Most people tour homes during the day, but rodents are really nocturnal. So you can hire a rock and pest and rodent inspector to look for droppings, holes in the baseboard, and behind the walls to uncover insect, termites, and or rodent infestations. Number four, mold and mildew. Now it's easy to spot mold and mildew in bathrooms and baseboards. However, just because you don't see the mold doesn't mean that it's not there. Other signs of mold in Rockland homes include standing water, musty smells, and water marks on the walls and ceilings. If you're a buyer, beware of mildew in houses that have sat vacant for long periods. Protect yourself and you can even ask the homeowner to disclose any mold or water damage. Once revealed, you can factor the cost of eliminating the mold into the final price of the house. You may also choose to pass on a house with mold entirely. Okay, number five safety concern when moving to Rockland, California, asbestos. Asbestos is a hazardous mineral that can cause cancer or respiratory problems. Asbestos exists in building materials in Rockland homes built before 1980. Be sure the home inspector you hire is qualified to detect asbestos in your house. There is a way to dispose of asbestos safely, but it can be costly. A home inspector will also be aware of other hazardous building products and their threat to you as a homeowner. Are you thinking of moving to Rockland, California, but don't know which neighborhood would be the best fit for your family? Then download my ultimate guide to moving and living in Rockland, California, so you can learn everything you need to know about the city. My guide covers the pros and cons of living here, the best and worst neighborhoods, top new communities, and how to save up to $50,000 on your home purchase, and a lot more than that. Click download now to gain instant access to the guide. So if you want to know if you're making the right decision, I want you to click on the button directly below to download my ultimate guide to moving and living in Rockland, California. When you do, you will gain all the knowledge and support you need to make the right decision for your family. The video you wanted to watch will always be there. The opportunity to download my ultimate guide to moving and living in Rockland, California will disappear when this video ends. So don't delay and do not let this video go without downloading the ultimate guide to moving and living in Rockland, California and see how likely you are to call Rockland, California home.